50 Buffalo Lanes youth bowlers take to the lane. At stake, $4,000 in scholarship. Four divisions bowl three games of qualifying before a cut to the top eight. Then one more game to make it into the top four stepladder finals. In the nickel division, bowlers with a 128 average or below, the competition was tough but fun. Number four seed Emma Stahl defeats Tanner Winnie and then moves on to number two seed Alyssa Belcher. Belcher would fall to Stoll in the semifinals, and next up is the number one seed, Rachel Levine. Emma Stahl would complete her climb of the stepladder, defeating Levine 132 to 103. I was nervous, but then I figured out I won. I was really happy. Next up in the bronze division, averages 129 to 153 would be the four Buffalo North bowlers. Number three seed Dylan Hardesty squeaks out a win over number four seed Matthew Hannon. And then a five pin victory over number two seed Adam Galt. Number one seed Tyler Howard was looking to stop Hardesty's climb up the step ladder, but Dylan stays focused and wins the bronze division 212 to 165. I was really nervous, but I knew I had to just, just keep my mark and get my best shot. The silver division averages 154 to 179, saw some big scores as number four seed Nolan Hughes knocks off number three seed Alexander Peck, 234 to 165. But number two seed Eric Parker out of Buffalo Lanes Carey was looking to represent as he posts a 228 in the semifinals to advance to face the number one seed Caleb Baker. Parker continues to throw strikes as he takes home first place in the silver division, 231 to 170. I was pretty nervous because I've never really made it through that far and uh, Caleb was a pretty good bowler so I thought I was going to get beat out there. Last but not least, the gold division averages 180 and above, provided some excitement early as number three seed Frank Bohennick defeated Cody McDaniel 193 to 192. Bohennick ran into the number two seed Blake Buffalo in the semifinals and Blake continued to throw strike after strike as he defeats Bohennick 258 to 197. Number one seed Chris Arroyo was a bit nervous after watching Blake Buffalo. I was a little worried. I was like, if he shoots that again, I'm done. <laughs> but the two-handed lefty does what put him in the number one seed position as he goes on to defeat Buffalo 246 to 172. And a few words of advice for next year. Um, don't get mad if you hit the pocket, leave a seven or whatever you leave, and pick up a lot of spares. You just need to try your hardest and just practice. Make sure you're good at grabbing your spares. That'll always be a game changer. And be able to adjust to lane conditions is also another good thing so you can keep a line going. Keep going. Don't quit. I thought about it at one point and just keep going. Complete standings are available at buffalolanes.com. For Buffalo Lanes, I'm Gerald Morrow, and that's how we roll.